in this video, we're going to discuss about the basic geometric objects. So, tatlo yung i-discuss nating geometric objects dito. So, una, let's start with triangle. So, sa triangle, let's say meron tayong 3 lines and meron tayong 3 points P, Q, R. Then, if 3 points are joined in pairs by 3 lines, then they form a triangle. So, sa triangle, meron tayong tatlong vertices. So, ang vertices ng triangle natin dito ay P, Q, and R. Tapos, meron ding tatlong sides. So, yung sides, we have side P, Q. Take nota, a uh, line yung nire-represent na ito. Then, Q, R, then P, R. So, tatlo yung sides triangle. So, alam naman natin yan. Doon pa lang sa Euclidean geometry natin. Now, let's have complete quadrangle. If four points in a plane are joined in pairs by six distinct lines, they are called the vertices of a complete quadrangle and the lines are its six sides. So, dito sa complete quadrangle, meron tayong four vertices tapos meron tayong six sides okay so for example of complete quadrangle so meron tayong quadrangle PQRS okay so yung quadrangle natin dito quadrangle we have PQRS so ito yun and then syempre dapat meron syang anim na sides so, alin yung mga sides ng quadrangle PQRS? So, we have PQ, QR, RS, and SP. And we have RP and QS. Okay? QS. So, yan yung mga sides ng quadrangle. So, alin naman yung mga vertices niya? So, yung vertices niya, we have P, Q, R, and S. Okay? Now, meron tayong tinatawag na opposite sides and diagonal point. Diagonal point. Okay? So, yung opposite sides, siya yung dalawang sides ng quadrangle where yung common point nila ay hindi vertex. Okay? So, for example, meron tayong PR and QS. So, alin yung common point ng PR and QS? That is B. Okay? So, therefore, yung PR and QS are opposite sides. So, PR and QS. So, alin pa dito yung opposite sides? So, we have uh, PQ and RS. Okay? Ano yung, ano yung common point nila? That is C. Okay? Which is not a vertex. Okay? So, PQ and RS. Then, the last one, meron tayong PS and QR, where yung common point nila ay point A, which is not a vertex. So, therefore, PS, ah, ano ba yung ano, SP ang sulinulat ko pala dito, SP or PS, same lang yan, and QR, opposite sides, since yung common point nila ay hindi vertex. So, ano, man, ano naman yung diagonal point? Yung diagonal point naman, siya naman yung common point ng two opposite sides. Okay? So, for example, yung PR and QS, ano yung common point nila? B. So, B is a diagonal point. PQ and RS, ano yung common point nila? That is C. So, diagonal point. And then, we have A. So, ito yung mga diagonal points. Okay? Okay, so the last one, let's have complete quadrilateral. If four lines in a plane meet by pairs in six distinct points, they are called the sides of a complete quadrilateral 
and the points are its 6 vertices. So, dito naman, iba siya sa complete quadrangle. Sa complete quadrangle, meron siyang uh, 4 vertices and 6 uh, sides. Dito, kumbaga parang nagkapalit. Meron naman tong four, uh, 6 vertices, tapos 4 sides. Okay, yung 4 lines, ay yung sides, tapos meron siyang 6 vertices. Okay, so for example of complete quadrilateral, meron tayong quadrilateral PQRS. So quadrilateral PQRS or complete quadrilateral quadrilateral PQRS where yung mga vertices niya. So alin yung mga vertices niya? Una ito. So that is P dot S. So P dot S. So take note ah eto anong nire-represent na ito? Yung common point ng line P tsaka ng line S. Okay, so point yung nire-represent niya. So, na-discuss ko na yan sa nakaraang video. Then, we have P dot Q. P dot Q. Tapos, eto. That is P dot R. Ito yan. And then, we have Q dot R. Q dot R. Then, we have R dot S and q.s so q.s okay so meron tayong 6 vertices na ating complete quadrilateral okay next naman meron tayong sides so yung sides naman niya ay apat so alin yung sides niya eto p yung q yung r and yung s so yung mga sides niya dapat sila yung nagko-connecta in pair doon sa mga vertices or yung mga 6 points yung si, sa 6 points na to. Okay? So by definition of complete quadrilateral. Okay? So kung doon sa complete quadrangle merong opposite sides and diagonal point, dito naman merong opposite vertices vertices and diagonal line. Okay. So, ali, ano yung opposite vertices dito? Yung opposite vertices, sila yung dalawang vertices ng complete quadrilateral where yung their join is not a side. Okay? So, take note ha, yung word na join, okay, siya yung kumbaga iisang line na nag-connect dun sa dalawang vertices. Okay? So, kapag yung line na yun, pinag-connect niya yun, dalawang vertices, pero yung line na yun ay hindi side, then, yung dalawang vertices ay opposite vertices. Okay? So, alin ba dito yung magka-connect or pinag-connect ng isang line, pero yung line na yun ay hindi side? Okay? So, for example, etong PS, yung P dot S, eto tsaka yung uh, q.r eto p.s so eh, take note ha, ito yung p.s ito yung q.r intersection ng q tsaka r so eto pinagko-connect siya ng line a okay so nakikita nyo so meaning etong p.s na to tsaka yung q.r sila yung opposite vertices okay so point P dot S and Q dot R. Okay? Then, by the way, define ko na rin itong diagonal, diagonal line. Yung diagonal line, sila yung join na yung join of two opposite vertices. Okay? Yung line na nagko-connect sa dalawang opposite vertices. Okay? So, dito, ang diagonal line natin ay etong A. A. Okay? So, another example, we have, um, alin pa ba? Ito, P dot Q. P dot Q, tsaka R dot S. So, pinag-connect sila ng aling line, line C. Okay? So, P dot Q and R dot S. So, pinag-connect ng line C. So, yun yung diagonal line. Tapos, ito, Q dot S, tsaka P dot R. So, pinag-connect sila ng line B. So, R, uh, ano to? 
q.s and p.r so pinag connect ng line b okay so ito yung line na nag connect dito sa dalawang point okay so ito lang yung mga basic information sa tatlong simple na geometric figures under projective geometry.